I am in our little camper today. Tom lovingly nicknamed it Peanut, but we have some projects to finish up. So we need to get some new mattresses in the bunk area. When I painted the rest of this last fall, I didn't paint the bunks. So we're gonna do that. I'll show you the controversial paint color <laughs> that I selected. And many of you have asked, how do you pack your camper? I have figured out a few things that work really well. So I'm gonna show you those today, but also some really fun before and afters with this camper because it's a small space, but it has come a long way. Okay, so where we had le left this last fall, we had gotten the wallpaper uh, in the bathroom, not without plenty of headaches, right? And then here in the little kitchen area too, but we hadn't tackled the bunk area and I just have some other fun stuff, decor stuff that I think we can add in. All right, I'm gonna start painting a little bit and we'll visit. So this is actually a shade of paint that, it's the paint we painted our barn doors <laughs> with. And I like it cause it's brownie, but it still has some grays in it. And there's still like, there's a lot of wood tones in here, but there are grays in them and in the countertop. And so I think it'll look, you know, with brown, you gotta be careful of the shades, right? <laughs> so I think it'll go um, in here. But my other reasoning for wanting to do a darker color in here is because the white takes three to four coats. Like I'm even looking at the other areas I painted white earlier or last year. And like, there's still some spots where I'm like, I need to touch those up. And I love how fresh and clean the white feels. The, again, the reason we did this when we did was because this camper, we bought it on auction, like sight unseen. And it was, you could tell it had gotten a lot of use. And so you can't really tell in video, but it just felt kind of dirty, <laughs> like a little grimy. And so painting it just made it feel really fresh and clean. And then we also took out the dinette and put this like a uh, couch thing in here that folds down and that we really like. But in the bunk area, I didn't want to do that many coats of white cause it's so tight <laughs> in there. It's a really small <laughs> bunk. Um, and so I didn't want to do white in there, but then also, you know, a lot of times in the summer when you're camping, it gets dark very late. And so I think having a darker color in there makes it feel cozier and darker at nighttime. Um, for the kids to be able to go to sleep. So that's my justification behind it. And I think it actually looks really good and goes with the color scheme. But I do wanna make sure Tom likes the paint color <laughs> before I go any further. All right, what do you think of that color in the bunk area? I love it. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> I actually do because it reminds me of the very first camper that we remodeled. Nope, second camper we remodeled. <laughs> Yeah. Cause is is it the same color? No. From like the mountains? Are you oh, sure? that no, those were uh, char charcoal black, but. Oh well, it looks very comparable to that in my mind. Yeah, I didn't even think when I was uh, justifying the color selection too. Also for dirt, like it will show uh, nothing, which yeah. I like. All right, you want a top bunk or bottom bunk first? Which one will be easier to get in? Yeah. Uh, you I think pick. I gotta unroll it here and get it in there. Okay. <laughs> not really a huge space. It's not. And today's video is sponsored by RVMattress.com. They have been so good to us. You know how much we love our Helix mattress in our house. And so it's always a little bit of a bummer to go camping and go on vacation and not get a really great night's sleep because the mattresses that come with campers just stink, right? And so we were so fortunate to get to upgrade the mattress in the the master bedroom area uh, the end of last year. So in there we have the signature hybrid foam, but what's so cool about rvmattress.com is they have all of the custom kind of strange sizes that you find in campers, like in the bunk area. So these were very narrow bunks and we were able to go on and find mattresses that fit perfectly in there. And what's so convenient is that they are shipped to your door for free in the US. And so you just roll it out in your bunk space, your bed space, and it takes shape and it fits perfectly. And I mean, the difference between these mattresses <laughs> compared to those little foam pads that were in there, it is night and day. Wow. These are such nice mattresses. This is such an upgrade compared to what was in there. It is. And you want the kids to sleep really well when you're camping, so oh, this sure. will be awesome. Yeah, these are really nice. So everyone gets a great night's sleep while we're camping now. Plus you get 120 nights to test it out. Make sure it's a great fit for you and your family. And beyond that, they also come with a 10 year warranty as well. Plus they're lightweight. And so, you know, we made the mistake with our uh, second camper makeover. We kind of added a thousand pounds to it accidentally. 
And a big part of that was the mattresses that we put in there. So these mattresses are made for RVs. They're lightweight, but still super comfortable. <laughs> like I said, that is very important. And they also have some great Memorial Day specials coming up. So make sure to check out their site. And if you use our link down below, you're going to save 25% off your own mattress from rvmattress.com. And you like the brown paint color now that it's all painted? I really do. Yeah, it's nice and cozy, isn't it? Yeah, I get what you're saying now with making this... Like, like a little sleeping, dark yeah, sleeping area in this gigantic camper. <laughs> I, I like this camper a lot. No, me too. Okay, so I really like how that looks painted. I love the wallpaper <laughs> in the bathroom. Um, I just think this wall right here looks too white and I think this is what's gonna get dirty the most because like this is where everyone will sit and hands and everything there. And so I grabbed some of this. Now, the drama with the sun print wallpaper was that it was real wallpaper. This is just peel and stick. And we had put this in our other camper like in the headboard. And so I'm thinking this should just be really easy to go up and I think it would look kind of cute there. Um, it could be a huge mistake, in which case I'll probably just delete this section of video. We'll just pretend like it didn't happen. But I think one roll would be enough to do this wall and I think it would look really good. So I'm going to try that and then if it doesn't work out, then, you know, like I said, we'll just delete it. <laughs> so this is our fourth camper that we've either like fully make, made over or just kind of jazzed up a little bit. And what you'll learn is that there is nothing square about a camper. Even in our other one that's a little bit newer and nicer, still nothing is square in there. And so I was just trying to like line this up along the top. And it, like it just like that plastic piece along the top like has a curb in it. And I'm like, so what I have learned now is to just oversize, to cut it oversized to the space and then get it in place and then just use a X-Acto knife or a razor blade to trim it to fit. And that works so much better. So I don't know. The other thing that's good about this is now I've done it a couple times and you just get better. Like there's some things you just have to practice. I was really frustrated <laughs> when I used this peel and stick wallpaper in our other camper. It took forever and it was so hard to line up. And now even just this time, this has gone a lot easier and quicker. This pattern is pretty forgiving though as well. So I appreciate that. And for those of you who are saying like, Dawn, did you paint over the wallpaper and now you're just wallpapering over it again. Yes, I am. Had I known I was going to do this, I wouldn't have taken the time to paint this wall, but it's fine. <laughs> and I think this looks pretty good. So I'm glad that I did it. And now I'm thinking if there's looking around, if there's any other places that I might want to put this wallpaper to. And I know sometimes like, I mean, cause we, this is actually our fourth camper that I've painted. And um, sometimes people are like, it's a camper, like who cares, right? But this is just, it's just really enjoyable to me. Like it's Mother's Day. I don't know if you can tell it's, it's raining outside. So I can't be like outside in the garden or anything like that. And so uh, to me, this is exactly how I would choose to spend the day. <laughs> like leave me alone in the camper painting. And that's one of my favorite things about minimalism is I feel like on a rainy Sunday, I'm like, I could just sit in the house in my chair and read a book and drink coffee. Um, I could be in the garden. I could be painting a camper. I just like, I don't feel like I have to be taking care of my house. And so I can just choose like how I want to spend my time. Now, granted our kids are at like really awesome ages <laughs> right now too. So that, that definitely helps as well. But I just love the freedom that this has given us. And so anyways, there's your motivation to keep going, keep going. It's so worthwhile. None of this stuff is worth it. <laughs> so let it go. And then you can have so much freedom too. Let's see how <laughs> these beds are the worst to make. So let's try and make these beds and <laughs> see how that goes. <laughs> and I always think it's so fun to see what a difference paint can make. You know, not all of us have budget to do expensive makeovers, whether it's in our house or in a camper, right? And so I love how paint that we already had, I didn't even have to have another color mix, how it can really make a dramatic difference, but also make spaces just feel like clean and fresh and um, up to date in, in just a matter of hours. And so it's always so fun to me to see these transformations. Again, not everyone would choose to paint their camper, right? They would just go camping in it, but that's totally fine. <laughs> and I do really like how this is coming together and I do think it makes the bunks feel like very cozy, so. Okay, so now the fun part to put in all the final touches with bedding and a little bit of decor again.
I know campers don't need matching bedding and all that. This is just really fun <laughs> for me and I love this part of it. And a lot of the bedding we actually already had. And so that worked out really well. And these comforters or bedspreads, I don't know what you'd call them. They're like microfiber from Target. They're very lightweight and we love them for camping. I know sometimes people say like, well, just use sleeping bags on the bunks and then you don't have to make up and all that. I always felt like sleeping bags got too hot in the summer. Even though we have air conditioning in there, I just, I don't know. Um, I always like just having the option to have a light, like just a flat sheet on top or uh, a really lightweight weight blanket. Otherwise, I just wanted to kind of bring through the orange color from the wallpaper and this bedspread with this beautiful scene on it. I decided to like fold it in half because the top is like all white, which is not practical. It probably won't travel with us, but it was the inspiration <laughs> for the color palette in here. Again, I know. And so it was fun to pull it all together. <laughs> Another thing we have learned over the years is that um, these Velcro command strips work really good for any kind of like artwork, anything you want to stay affixed to the wall. You don't want to like swing around and move around. And so I've learned now I put the, the ones onto here and then I just lightly put on the ones that go on the wall and remove the backing and then I get them in place and I push them on really well and then let them sit for a little while. And then we can come back now and stick this on and it's nice too because if you don't get it quite level I think that looks pretty good um you can just like pull it off and and reposition it wow that is <laughs> I'm like <laughs> that is stuck on very well we are gonna leave it exactly how it is <laughs> And then we always get a lot of questions about how we pack in here. So again, many of you are much more experienced with packing a camper than I am, but what I have found that works so well um, is inside of these cabinets, which this camper actually has a good amount of storage space. I think um, this one's, I don't know, it's like five years old, but I feel like they've gotten really good at putting in storage space and having a good amount, but having bins that fit in really well and so these were from Target, the Target dollar spot a couple years ago, but four of them fit in here perfectly and I have tags on them. So what we do is we bring them in the house, load them up and then put them in here. And it's really easy then to bring the stuff into here, just in the bins, stick them up there. Nothing falls out when you open the doors. But the best part is at the end of the trip, when we get back home because the worst after a camping trip is having to unpack the camper, right? It's so easy. By that point in the trip, like they're not nearly as full anymore. You can kind of just stack them up, bring them all in the house and then just put everything away quick and then just throw the bins back in here. And then we also have more that fit in these three cabinets. And so this is where we keep all of our clothes. And so there's three cabinets, there's six of us, so two people, um, per cabinet so again we just give the kids like their bin they can bring as many clothes as fit in that bin throw it in here not a big deal um and so that has worked really well and even though we pulled out the dinette which i know is somewhat controversial i really like the storage space on that we have under here now so let me grab the bins that we use in here so these bins from target fit perfectly under here and we usually have a case of water. We're trying to go away from using the plastic bottles, you know, when we're camping, but we still bring some just in case. And then these, we always have one for shoes because you end up with all of the shoes piled by the door. Um, so we have one for shoes. It fits right under here. And then um, any other, I don't know, I'm trying to think what else we put in here um, when we pack. We'll put like uh, maybe extra bags of chips or like games that the kids want to bring with. Each of the kids also packs a backpack and so they can have that in the truck with them while we're traveling and then they can have it in their bunk area with them too so if they want to bring any like activities or books or that kind of stuff. Um, but these just slide right under here and we can fit three of them and a case of water and to me this is much more convenient than having to pull off the cushions of the dinette and take off the wood top and then reach in there to get what you want and then put it all back. Like you just slide it out. 
and get what you need. So this works really well. The only thing we talked about, Tom and I were talking about, um, was just putting like a little like wood ledge here. So these don't slide around when we're driving, but it's, they kind of slide out and move around, but it's really not that big of a deal. Then, then there's a big cabinet like under here and we have a cabinet up there. So we don't max out the storage in here. Like I'm always like, we have so much space in here really. And you know, we do try to just pack really light. I would rather pack light than like be prepared for any and every situation that might arise. So that's just me though, <laughs> right? But this is how we pack in all of our campers and this works really well. Okay, we're gonna let Tom see it for the first time and see what he thinks. He hasn't loved all of my previous designs. What? This is awesome. You're right, I haven't loved all the previous things. This, this is, this is really cute, Dawn. <laughs> too, too cute, too girly? No, I don't think so. Do you like the colors? Our other ones were more black and white and... I like the colors a lot. Yeah, no, I like that it's not so black and white. It feels very, uh, camping. Yeah. But not like up north Minnesota camping. Oh, what kind of camping? Um... Uh, uh hipster camping. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you haven't seen the dark bunk area. What do you think of that? I love it. Did you wallpaper this? Oh yeah, I did do that too. <laughs> Is it? Do you think it's kind of funny that I painted over the wallpapering and then re-wallpapered? <laughs> uh huh. No, I, I'm glad you did this though because I agree. Now seeing it all together, this was all just this color. Yeah, just kind of plain that it needed something mm -hmm. but you did mention you briefly mentioned painting it this color i'm glad you didn't do that this yeah this is, it would have been too good. dark yeah okay i like it awesome mm -hmm. good job Thanks. i think this is probably the best one you've done oh thank you mm -hmm. So it is kind of hard to believe that this is our fourth camper makeover. This one was less sig no third and we didn't we haven't third made makeover. makeover fourth camper yeah the yep. first ones were horrible <laughs> i mean those were like that those were a lot of work <laughs> yeah before you're saying the, the before. first two campers yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. no they were they were moldy messes yes. yes and they were beautiful when we were done yes but we are okay if we never take on that kind of project again yes and the amount of so i have done nothing in this camper uh except install the couch we're sitting on mm -hmm. gear to the dinette mm -hmm. but i would say that the amount of time you've put it, what do you put maybe like two and a half days into it? Three days maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's pretty minimal. Yeah, it was really just cosmetic stuff. And I know, so we had got this this camper on an auction site mm -hmm. unseen. Mm -hmm. And so when we got it, it was in good condition. It was just missing some of the cushions and the dinette table. And um, the, yep. But otherwise, it you could just tell it had been used a lot. It was just a yep. little bit worn and kind of a little bit grimy, dirty feeling. Yep. And so that's where painting and putting on wallpaper and these things have made it feel fresh and made it feel like our own, I think. Yeah, and and we what have we camped with it? Like two or three times? Mm -hmm. it, it works really well. Like No, we actually really like it it's, a lot. Yeah. Like the simplicity of it. It actually reminds me of growing up camping. Like my parents had a pickup camper and... It was like you just had what you needed and you uh, could get you have a nice place to sleep at night and then that's like it yeah. <laughs> and a place to put all your stuff well and <laughs> we've been camping enough now that we know ourselves and how we camp mm -hmm. and we need climate controlled sleeping mm -hmm. you need a place to store your food and maybe to like do some prep mm -hmm. you need a toilet mm -hmm. and you don't actually really even need the shower but the shower is nice yeah we don't really use the showers in our campers and you need a comfy bed. Yeah. So you get a good night's sleep and then For wake sure. up well rested. So yeah, this camper, even though it's small, it definitely checks all of the boxes. Correct. So that has been pleasantly surprising because mm -hmm. initially we were thinking we were just getting this one for my parents and for Tom's family to use. And so now we're kind of like, well, we don't really need the other one, do we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so. So we'll see. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, otherwise it, this, I don't know, this has just been kind of fun. And now though that it's been sitting like out in front of the house in the driveway again, now it's like, let's go camping. <laughs>
Tom would go camping every day uh, of the year if we could. I well, I like. I don't have to convince you. No, and I like traveling and seeing nature in the world and stuff. I didn't. I didn't get any of that as a kid, so I think now as an adult, I desire that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yes, I would. I I could see myself as being like a wandering traveler. Yeah. For a season, not mm -hmm. forever, but for like six months. Yeah. That'd be cool. It was actually kind of funny. Maggie had to Maggie had to do a report on someone, and so she decided to do it on herself. And oh, so, what? <laughs> but she was talking about she was like Maggie Madsen loves to adventure, and then she was listing off some of the places we've gone and everything. And I'm like, oh, that's actually really cool. You know, like it's something we have made a priority, and so we've gotten uh -huh. to do. And as she was listing off, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot we went there and we've been there and we've done that, and so. I think it's just given us like really cool family time and I don't think we need a big camper to be able to do that. I agree. That's awesome that she did it on herself. <laughs> that's awesome. That sounds like Maggie. <laughs> all right, well, um, I guess that's all for today, but um, it's been fun to get to hang out with you on a Friday and we don't actually have any camping trip <laughs> planned right now. So I think we need to look at the calendar and get some things on there. We'd love to know, like, do you have any trips planned for the summer? Anything you're looking forward to? I once heard the secret of happy people is always having something on the calendar to look forward to, so. We Better don't, we don't have there. anything on the calendar. <laughs> All right. Well, we love you. We hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.